Ladies and gentlemen, hello! What's up? I got me a PlayStation 5! <laughs> it's very big, as you can see. It's bigger than me, actually. Isn't that right, Sam? Uh, definitely not. Sam is my helpful assistant for this once again. Uh, we recently <laughs> unboxed the Xbox Series X and the Series S. Now we do the biggest of the boys. We recently played this at Sony's HQ. We were very impressed with the controller and uh, the yeah, unit yes. itself looks pretty cool. Why don't we open up the box and see what this is all about? We'll see what's inside it. This is it. Uh, you've got a picture on the front there of the PlayStation. Nothing much on the sides worthy of note. And then you've got at the uh, on the back, play like never before. Lightning, fast, speed, harness the, the power of a custom CPU and SSD with integrated I.O. that rewrite the rules of what PlayStation console can do. Breathtaking immersion, discover a deeper gaming experience with support for haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and 3D audio, which I'm actually quite interested in because mm. we haven't actually experienced the 3D audio yet, so I'm keen for that. And stunning games, marvel at incredible graphic experience, the new PS5 features, play a back catalogue of supported PS4 games with a system update. Anyway, that is the PlayStation box. Let's crack her open and see what is inside. It's really hard to actually like see over, see over the top of this thing because it's so goddamn big. Let's just move this here for a second. Okay, what have we got at the top here? First of all, we have the controller. Ew. Ew. This is a great controller, can I say? We'll come back to talk more about the controller okay. soon. But um, yes, this is the controller. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. We're just going to put it aside for now along with its little special wrapping thing. Uh, what else do we have at the top here? We've got a manual thing. Okay, we have a little manual booklet thing. A quick start book. Which you can't really see because it's so white like me. Uh, but anyway, we'll, that's a booklet. We'll come back to that as well. And I feel like I'm doing a lucky dip thing. Oh, there's another booklet here. It's probably one of the safety things. We definitely don't care about that. Who has ever read... Have you ever read one no. of the... No one reads the safety booklets, okay? They're just, they're just a waste of paper. We also have a power cable. Very exciting, okay? Power cable reveal. There it is, guys. You can see the top cam there because I know you're all really oh, keen shit, on it. It's amazing, it's just, it's amazing it's isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. It's incredible, guys. Uh, world reveals here now. Anything else that we can grab at the top? Oh, here we go. There's something else here. Ah, oh, the stand. Okay. Oh, of course. There we go. Let's get that out we the way. That. We'll take this out of the thing at the top here. You can see that. The stand. Ew. Okay, so the stand, um, TLDR, basically has a little thing at the bottom that you can rotate. And this is where you can store the screw that you use. If you want to lie it on its side or you want to have it upright, you can change it and you screw it in at a different point. And that thing there, how do I get to that? Do you know? Oh, you got to move the, um, doesn't that thing move? Uh, yeah, that thing moves. Oh, that thing rotates. Yes, okay. That rotates. Ah, that rotates there. That's how that works. Okay. So uh, that rotates there. That reveals the screw, and then I can do that. So we'll come so back. So much easier to put it on its side compared to Xbox, isn't it? So much. Easier. <laughs> oh, much, <laughs> much easier. <laughs> In fact, I think actually Xbox riffed on that. Xbox. They had a tweet. Yeah. They were like, "Here's how you put the play the Xbox on its side." That was it. <laughs> so that's the stand. Uh, what else we've got in this box? Ah, here it is, the HDMI cable there. Now, uh, HDMI cable for the PlayStation 5 revealed. It is unmarked, it seems. It's it doesn't. It is, uh, it's definitely going to be a 2.1 because this machine can do 120 hertz, 120 FPS um, if you've got the right connections for it, HDMI 2.1. But that is the cable, uh, also extremely exciting. Now, moment of truth. No, wait, there's something else in here. Oh, this is going to be a charge. This is going to be a USB cable for the um, controller and it is USB-C. Um, it's a USB-C cable, guys. There you have it. We'll come back to that too. Now, the big boy, the, big boy, the moment of truth. Let's take it out without breaking it. Okay, it's actually really hard to get it out. Let's try it on this angle instead. Let's try it like this. That works. There we go. Oh, all right, we're gonna put the box aside for now. And this is it. It's in a little side. Apparently, by the way, the packaging is all like 100% recycled material. So it's better for the environment than it's ever been. There you go. All right, this is it. It's got this foam plastic on it, which we can unwrap and we can almost see it. It's almost there. Ah! Oh, 
it is absolutely gigantic and it weighs a ton. So if you actually put and it inside, it does wobble. So it doesn't stand yeah, you're right. So as I'm laying it on this table like this now, we can feel that it is definitely like if I touch it and just off it goes, like the jiggle test. Yeah. Now it's cancel my one o'clock. <laughs> and then standing her up, we see the PlayStation Five. I'm so pumped. Uh, you got the little logo there. This is the uh, the back of it, the uh, the flip side. And uh, from the front on view, I'm, I'm, the, the camera is not auto zooming, so that's why I have to pull it back when to show you it. Um, but I can also show you from the top cam as well. Oh, there we go, and that's what it looks like. We'll do one of these like dramatic shots. Yeah, that's good. But at the front, you can see we've got uh, a USB port, we've got a USB C port. We've got a power button and an eject button for the disc tray. This is obviously the one with the disc. You don't like, you can also get the non-disc if you like. If you don't like the disc, you don't have to have the disc. It's up to you, okay? So then the back, which I think a lot of people are quite interested in. We were not allowed to show the back of the unit that we played on Monday because that was a test unit. This is an official retail unit. This is what everyone is going to get when they buy the PlayStation 5. Um, we've got our power cable there, we've got HDMI, we've got the Ethernet, and we've got two USB ports. That is, I don't think that's, that's any, a lock that's, thing. Is that a lock thing, is it? Okay. Yes, and, um, and then on the base, you can see a slot for the, um, for the stand there as well. Question mark, can we just pull the place face plate off with our hands? Or do we need to, do you know what? I'm too scared to do yeah. it. I don't, I'm gonna look up how to do it. We're not gonna do it now. Uh, because you can actually replace those face plates. But that's it, that's the PlayStation 5. Um, unboxed, now I'm gonna put it to the side here. We're gonna get rid of this packaging. And um, we're just gonna talk very briefly about the controller because that was something that we experienced when we went hands-on on Monday. And this thing here is just unbelievable, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like we did a pretty good job of explaining how good it was. I sp uh, when I watch my video, I'm like, I'm just kind of talking, running with yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, hard to really it's, explain it's, it. Yeah, it's not but, easy. But I think the easiest way to say it is this, okay? This feels like a genuine next generation controller. There is two next gen consoles coming out next month but only one next-gen controller because the vibration that you feel, the, hap the haptic feedback is so different than anything you've experienced in any controller. Because I remember the Switch also has like haptic feedback. Does it? It does though? actually, it I does. I don't really feel it compared to this stuff. Nonsense, the, sw the, the yeah. Switch is just bullshit, okay? It's just, that's just rumble, right? This is completely different. The uh, control has emotions now. The control, you can, you can definitely feel yeah. what the controller is feeling, yeah, okay? Yeah, uh, and you will not believe me and you will not buy what I'm saying until you experience it for yourself. And the minute you do, you can be like, oh, absolutely, he was, they were right all along, you know? Uh, and obviously the adaptive triggers as well. And if you're unclear about how they function, the way it works, and I'll show it from the top, is that, you know, this is off now, so it has no resistance whatsoever. But certain games are gonna have, you know, in certain moments, uh, where you know you push it down a little bit and all of a sudden you'll feel the resistance it pushes back hard in fact like really hard I was noticing and then you need to push further like you need to push harder to get it past that point of resistance other times it'll be you know constantly resisting you all the way down it's possible that with you know certain games like Deathloop for example an upcoming PS4 exclusive from Bethesda so Microsoft is actually publishing a, 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 a PS4, a PS5 exclusive, well done. Um, they're gonna have weapon jamming. So you're firing, you're pulling the trigger and all of a sudden you can't push it down because you're getting that resistance. I mean, what a des what a bungee gonna do with this tech? Like every single Destiny weapon gonna have its own haptic feedback and trigger profile. That's gonna be absolutely wild. So um, yeah, this control is just, as I said, amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it yourselves. But this is the PlayStation 5, guys, all unboxed. Um, if we have a look at what we get from the top view, we have our PlayStation, we have our controller, we have the USB, uh, sorry, that's an HDMI cable, we have the power cable, and we have the um, USB-C cable, as well as the stand, which... The stand is ugly. The stand is ugly, I'm gonna say. Is, is that everything? Do we get everything in the shot down there? We got everything in the shot. The stand is ugly. Uh, but I think the unit itself is cool. It definitely has mixed reception. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm in a camp that I'm like, yeah, cool, I like this thing. Uh, I like I, the Xbox more. I, I think you're probably right, actually. I think you're probably right. And uh, we'll do some more comparisons of those consoles later on, side by side and whatever else. But for now, guys, that is the PlayStation 5 uh, unboxed. 
Uh, thank you very much to Sony for sending this through to me. Um, I'm going to be playtesting this over the next few days. There's exclusives like Godfall and Spider-Man Miles Morales and um, Demon Souls and Sackboy. There was going to be another PlayStation exclusive as well called All-Star Battle Royale yeah, something or something. That's oh, been, it's going to be free on the PlayStation Store It's now? free on the PlayStation Store in February, right? It's going to be part of PS Plus, I believe. Um, either way, I'm really pumped. Console generations, man. They're my, like my favorite thing. As much as I am a PC gamer, I just love consoles as well. That's where I got my start. And now to have the, what, eighth generation consoles in my hands is very cool. So that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for Sam for being Thank a great you. cameraman. And uh, yes. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I know to do better for next time. If you enjoyed yourself, consider subscribing. And if you really enjoyed yourself, maybe consider hitting that notification bell so you never miss a video. You can see my patrons here on the left. They're awesome. They're amazing. If you want to join them, check out my Patreon page. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.